Uh, I'm in Gothenburg today at uh, Volvo's test track to drive the V60 plug-in hybrid. Um, it's a very interesting car. It's um, what's called a through-the-road hybrid. Uh, it's got an electrical system and a diesel engine and the connection between the two is, is through the road as the, uh, as the name suggests. Up front it's got a five-cylinder diesel engine, pretty powerful one, um, and at the back, uh, driving the rear wheels, it's got uh, an electric motor as well. Um, so I'm about to drive the car. It'll be interesting to see how those two different power sources marry up into uh, one cohesive whole, I hope. OK, so now we're going to do a start in power mode. It's the top gear moment in the video. So we're in power mode, so the engine runs even when we're stationary. Let's see what it can do. Sporty enough for me. But this car's not really about um, power mode, so I'm going to switch into hybrid mode, which is where most people will spend most of the time driving this car, presumably. And I've got a digital display on the dashboard which tells me when I'm driving gently on electric mode and when I'm liable to switch into the mode where the engine's going to cut in as well. But as long as you drive gently, it feels very smooth. And I think we're on electrical power. To be honest, when you're driving slowly, you can't really hear the diesel engine. It's pretty well insulated, even in this prototype car. And if I switch into the third of the three modes, as soon as I finish getting around this corner, it's pure mode, where we're really trying to use the battery as much as possible. And here again, you, you feel a slight change in the throttle responsiveness. Again, it's trying to encourage you to drive as economically as possible. And it'll turn off a lot of the ancillaries like the heated rear window and things like that to conserve battery power. It is pretty smooth. I like this car best when it's in uh, EV mode. Very nice. So Volvo's plan with this car is to, uh, is to create a car that's really capable of dealing with all sorts of different circumstances. It's got a power mode for when you really need to get places quickly. Uh, it's got the hybrid mode, which I think you're going to be using most of the time when you drive this car. And uh, you've got a pure mode, which is, as, as the name suggests, purely electric, uh, which is ideal for driving around in cities. Um, having gone around the test track here, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty clear that this car is, is very close to being ready for production. We've had one or two um, software glitches along the way, uh, just today, but this is a pre-production hand-built car. Those things are going to get sorted. Um, when you switch between the different, three different modes, when you're driving the car, the switching is seamless, and uh, you get those three different characteristics in the car uh, for when you need them. It works at the moment. Very impressive. <laughs>